So, long story short, man had to run for a bus on me. That's my bus! That's my bus! Fuck, stop the bus! Stop the bus! And drapes the driver out for disrespect. Shortly after that, calling upon the Flatfoot Mafia. Flatfoot. I proceeded with multiple Flatfoots to the shins, which ended up in me getting cornered by police. After snatching a vehicle, I went to visit my longtime time Another happy customer, right? On route to the block, I came across some trouble in which I commandeered the next vehicle to show to the man them. Snatching several more vehicles and came across a female rights activist for revisiting the shop to say Wagwan to Raj. Cut two, shit didn't go to plan, so I had to exchange vehicles, execute a witness, make my way back to the block. Waking up to a healthy breakfast, borrowed my dad's car to make some movements, which ultimately led to the destruction of my dad's car. So I had to use a taxi for the remainder of my excursion. However, coming into enemy contact down Small Heath, which unfortunately led to another emergency commandeering. Moving vehicle. I stole another hire. After that, calling the next cab and trying to make the final stretch to my destination, you get me? However, I bumped into an opposition gang. And after squashing the beef with an immense show of force, I purchased a custom BTM medallion. And when I was mooching through the chains, I saw my mask, bro. I was like, rah. I leaving the store on a mad one. I stole a bimmer and got some work done. When I was assassinated on the sly, which led to some small logistical issues in which I prevailed and parked the car in my dad's garage. Pulled a taxi driver who couldn't drive. Had to clear one piece of riffraff from my streets. Stole his car. Stole another car to pick up my dad's car to get home to get my car. One bitch jumped in front of my car. Had to have it polished out. Edited in a bad man driving clip. Before linking Saeed in the hills where we raced to the death. Hold on a minute. Is that Saeed or is that Raj? Raj. That's Saeed and Raj. Who won the race? Oh shit. No! No! After the death race was over, the cab company fucked me over and called the police on man. In which I made a dramatic escape, gunned down a whole gang and made it back to the crib. And that was that. You get me? After queuing in a hilarious clip. Help me, someone fucking help! I was making my way to Borsal Heath where one brother drove past on my bike. But he got away, but it was all blessed. Car Brum City is a small place, you get me? Participated in several shock and awe operations. Boom, boom, clap! Boom, boom. Long story short, yeah. I was fed up of waiting to just pass this geezer on my bike. So I launched Operation Pagan Thief Removal. You get me? I have been up to shit, bro. I've just been chilling out here in the streets, you know, looking after the family and that. What, you still chilling with that dead thing from back in the day, bro? Are you mad, bro? Talk about man's family like that. I tried to move discreetly, but shit went down and I mistook one Asian brother for my bike thief. So I took his bike for a remembrance ride, you get me, out of respect. Boy! What? When I saw one doorman who I had qualms with from the other day. Yo, Bredrin, remember me? Last week. Yo, I come off book that. I tried to park the stolen property in one of my boys' garages, but he weren't having it. Well, so I just come all this way, fam. You're not gonna let me in. You're not gonna let me in, fam. Fine, cool. So I left in a soul in which I lost control of the bike and bust my head top off. Hit! Which sent man into a mindless rampage for about six minutes, you know. Ah. Nah, what piece of shit? Boom, buckle. Stealing a car, which ended up in a reservoir. Boom, buckle. Clearing out several taxpayers. Get the fuck out of the car. Yeah, be still, be still, bro. Illegally occupying a taxi. Wild man's cab, real quick. Which I discreetly disposed of in the car park right next to my house. You get me? And that was that.
Pop myself a Corsa for about £300,000, you get me? Done took it for a test drive. Crash. No. Ran one breader down. <laughs> dealt with the feds. Drapes the knot from his bike and boxed him up. Can I borrow it? Before going to see Raj. What? Raj. He wasn't there. When the local opposition moved upon man. For fucking up the brethren on the bike. Can't rob the, man can't rob Raj in peace. Did some B14 border control. Boom. What phone you got, fam? What phone you got? Hold on. Before bumping into one homeless guy from the first episode. Yo, Ice-T. Is that you, bro? <laughs> I hit up Sven, my mechanic, to buff out some scratches so I could hit up the barber shop in style. I was somewhat taken back by the replacement barber at first. Right. You're covering. She did a good job, to be fair. Outside the barber shop, I picked up a friend. Which didn't end well. Oh, he's going up! <laughs> so I took my anger out on some old friends from Sheldon. Don't you ever pull your weapon on me again. Shot someone for invading my airspace. Climbed some ladders. Shot him again. Stole a vintage car. Crashed. <laughs> Bro. Nah, that's out of order, that is. And dealt with it through love and respect. Listen. Checking the piss, drinking coffee whilst driving. Then, drove down the pavement. Move out of the way. Got some work from Sime One. Are you mad, bro? <laughs> Shit, my batteries. Which was damn near impossible. <laughs> so I called upon Letitia, who made things worse, you get me? Whoa, what the fuck you playing at? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Eventually giving up and returning to the street to make some real money. Pull a gun on me. <laughs> I'm dying. When I came across a stray helicopter which I couldn't fly. How do I fly this thing? Bruv. How do I fly this thing? And last but not least, watching the B4E news. You don't have to deal with on the height. See this shit, bro. You see this shit? 